Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. What is science? What is it really? Sometimes I say, science is the study of how the natural world works. This is true, but it's so much more interesting than that. Science is a way of thinking. Science is a way of asking questions about the universe. Science is a way of asking good questions about the things we see happening in the natural world around us. And most important of all, science is about getting really good, truthful answers to those questions. Science is a way or a process of getting answers to those questions that get as close as possible to the truth as we can. Even if you are not a scientist, science matters to you and it matters to me. How come? Well, first of all, what if you have yummy peanut butter and a really lovely apple? I'm going to eat them for lunch. But what if I decide to throw the apple up in the air? What happens? It goes up and then it comes back down. Why doesn't it just keep going up and up and up and up? This is a very good question. And thanks to science, we know the answer. The answer is gravity. Gravity. Gravity is the force by which a planet draws objects towards its center. What? Yeah, gravity is the force, in this case Earth, that draws objects towards its center. Yeah, the apple that's falling down is falling towards the center of the Earth. Weird, right? Down is towards the center of the Earth. But it's true. And how do we know this is true? Because of science and because of lots of scientists. Large, 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 large numbers of scientists have tested the idea of gravity. Then other large, large, large numbers of scientists have come along and said, Hey, wait a minute. That's a goofy idea. A force drawing objects towards the center of the planet? I think I'll test that idea. And then they test it too. And then even more scientists come along and they test it too. And then even more scientists come along and they test it even more. After a whole ton of scientists have tested the idea of gravity, they come to the same conclusion. They reach consensus. They agree. It's not just two or three scientists that agree, it's a lot. It's hundreds or thousands or millions of scientists that have tested the idea themselves and come to the same conclusion. So we know that gravity is the force that draws objects towards its center. We know this thanks to science and to lots of scientists. Science is way more than just a cool collection of facts. The sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. The tadpole is a baby frog. Humans are mostly made of water. Science is actually a way of thinking. Science is a way of skeptically examining the universe. Science is a way of skeptically looking at things that happen around us and reaching more accurate conclusions about those things. Even if you don't want to be a scientist when you grow up, knowing how the world around you works is super duper important. Oh, yeah. Because you and I, we live in a world built by science. We get to cool our homes on hot days by air conditioning, thanks to science. We get to watch hilarious videos on our favorite screens, thanks to science. We get to recharge our game systems just by plugging them into the wall. That's also thanks to science. You and I live in a world built by science. So this means scientific literacy or understanding science and how it works is really important for making wise decisions about everything from how we stay healthy, how we keep the planet healthy, 
to how we keep our pets healthy. So science isn't just for scientists, it's for everyone. Humans have always wanted to explain the world around us. Our ancestors often attributed natural events, like illnesses, storms, or famines, to the work of supernatural forces, or even magic. This was wrong. This mostly happened because we humans are really, really, really good at noticing patterns. We humans are pattern noticers. Sometimes, however, the patterns we see are poor explanations for what is really happening in the world around us. Even when the patterns we notice are not real or are poor explanations of the world around us, we can easily jump to incorrect conclusions because the pattern feels real. Our perception, what we see and feel, is based on our biases, emotions, expectations, experiences, and desires. While the human brain is capable of really astonishing levels of genius, it's also remarkably prone to errors or misperception. The human mind makes lots of assumptions, and we assume these are correct. Take a look at these two tables. Which table is longer? Mm. The one on the left or the one on the right? Yep, I'd say the one on the left is mm -hmm. for sure longer. It looks longer, and I always believe what I see. Seeing is believing, isn't it? Or is it? The table on the left is not actually longer. Mm -hmm. The two tables are the same length. I'll show you. Oh, wow. This is an illusion devised by Franz Karl muller Lyer, a German sociologist. He created it way back in 1889. Here's another tricky illusion created by muller Lyer. Which line is longer? Hmm. Yeah, obviously the one on the right is longer. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not true. It's another illusion. Hmm? I'll measure just to make sure. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. See, they are the same size, but that's not what your mind told you. And that is the beauty of science. We can't just use one observation to draw a conclusion. In this case, our vision. We need to test it. We need to measure it. I measure, and, yep, they are the same size. That's the beauty of science or the scientific method, or the scientific way of thinking. Scientists don't accept their first thought. They test it. You don't accept your first thought either. You test it too. Science is the best way we know of to keep from fooling ourselves. Science is designed to correct for our limited perceptions and flawed thinking. Individual scientists try to be as objective as possible. They're still human, and they are prone to the exact same errors as the rest of us. The thing that makes science so cool is that a claim is never evaluated by just one scientist. It's evaluated or checked out or studied or tested by dozens or even hundreds of experts. All these scientists are trying to find the flaws in each other's work. It's how scientists think. My brother is a scientist. When we were kids, He'd watch my magic tricks very closely. And if he saw how the trick was done, he'd shout out, I know how you did that. It's in the other hand. Scientists are naturally skeptical people. It's how their minds work. Scientists want to know the truth, and they are skeptical of claims people make. They are even skeptical of other scientists. They look for a hole in a theory. They go looking for the incorrect reading or conclusion. When they look and look and look and look, and don't find anything wrong, they say, yep, that sounds good to me. It's good science. Science's secret sauce is that claims are never evaluated by just one scientist, but dozens or hundreds of experts. It's important to understand that science makes three assumptions. Seeing the world and understanding the world through the lens of science means you make these three assumptions. First, the process of science assumes the world is real. You and I tend to see the world in different ways. 
We've lived at different places. We've gone to different schools. We've had different friends. So we tend to see the world very differently. But scientists know there is an objective reality that exists outside of our experiences, outside our heads. So first, science says, hey, the world is real. Second, scientists believe it's possible to understand that objective world outside our heads. It's outside our heads. It's real. By using the tools of science, its methods, its thinking, its processes, by using science, we can explain and understand the natural world around us. Third, and lastly, science assumes we can explain what we see in the natural world with natural processes. We do not say, oh, it was just magic. Unless you're a magician, of course. And you're doing a magic trick pretending to defy the laws of nature. Science is good, even very good at answering questions. But it doesn't have to answer everything. Science is limited to what it can test and potentially falsify, which means that evidence must be observable, measurable, and repeatable. Observable? measurable, repeatable. Evidence must be observable, measurable, repeatable. For example, science can't answer personal questions like, what's your favorite color? Or is it wrong to steal? Yes, it is wrong to steal, but that's not science. That's just you being a good human being. The goal of scientific knowledge is to understand and explain the natural world. Is the pattern we've observed real? And one of science's greatest strengths is that it has the humility to recognize that we can never be completely certain. Scientific knowledge is tentative. Science doesn't prove. It reduces uncertainty. Science is the most reliable method for understanding objective reality. And the cool thing about science, it's open to people of every color, shape, size, or religion. But here's the weird thing about science, because it recognizes and corrects for our individual limitations and biases, finding consensus among scientists is sometimes really hard because each scientist huh? is incentivized to find flaws or limitations in other scientists' work. But claims that withstand the collective scrutiny of the scientific community become acts, models, laws, and theories that are used to further expand the body of knowledge. And that is a really good thing. Science created the modern world we live in. It touches every aspect of our lives, from our health to the environment. And the key to making good decisions in our modern science-created world is scientific literacy. Knowing what science really is. Science is a way of thinking. Science is a way of asking questions about the universe. Science is a way of asking good questions about the things we see happening in the natural world around us. And most of all, science is about getting really good, truthful answers to those questions that get as close as possible to the truth as we can. Yeah, science totally rocks. <laughs>